channel if you're new here and if this is the very first video of mine that you're watching and clicking on welcome to my channel my name is Christina Clark I post faith-based and lifestyle content today's video is a what I eat in a day summer edition it's technically not summer but like I'm on summer vacation for school so it's summer um, and yeah I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat in a day as you already saw I made my lemon water which I'm just about done with and I made my coffee which I am about to drink um, and I'm gonna go into making breakfast here shortly. I do want to preface this video by saying I'm a vegetarian. If you did not know, I've been a vegetarian since seventh grade and I'm a senior in college. I don't know how long that is. I'm not majoring in math. I think it's like definitely over seven years, eight years. I don't know. That's just off the top of my head. But I am a vegetarian, so these meals are going to be vegetarian. However, although these are vegetarian, I feel like anyone can eat them and enjoy them. Like, they're not super bizarre. They're really healthy. They're really delicious. There are some hearty meals in here that will fill you and satisfy you. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys like them. Hopefully, you get some recipe ideas. If you try any of these out, let me know. But, yeah, I will see you guys when I make breakfast. I just made 
breakfast and I'm about to eat it. Um, this is a smoothie bowl if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but basically I just wanted to know a few things about this, you know, delicious meal right here. You notice that I used tea when I was making the base of the smoothie bowl. Usually you would use like water or like milk. If you don't want to use dairy milk then you could do like coconut milk, almond milk, oat milk, or anything like that. But recently I've been starting to use raspberry tea so I would brew it the night before and then stick it in the fridge. So so that way I can add it to my smoothie bowls in the morning and it just adds more flavor and adds a lot more health benefits like raspberry tea is so good for you guys if you're a woman it's really good for your reproductive system and keeping you healthy down there but also it's really a great source of potassium and like we have bananas so we really get in our potassium today and I also know that um, raspberry tea is good for blood pressure so with my first meal of the day I take my multivitamin and the one that I take is just Centrum it's a women's multivitamin because plot twist I'm a woman <laughs> Um, so yeah, it says for this specific multivitamin uh, to take it with food. So that's why I take it with my breakfast. I think multivitamins are like so important to take for anybody, but especially for me being a vegetarian, I think it's even more crucial because it really like makes sure that I get all my vitamins, minerals for the day. Um, and being a vegetarian, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get like B12 or iron and different things like that. So by taking a multivitamin, I don't even have to stress about that. Yeah, so multivitamin vitamins are very important 10 out of 10 to recommend if you're not taking one take one even if you're not a vegetarian it's really good for your body and for all of your organs and all the functions that your body has to perform you know like your metabolism so yeah i'm just going to eat this i'm going to take my multivitamin and then i will see you guys for lunch time Oh, oh, oh. 
photo on my shirt. <laughs> so, I just made lunch and I made myself a sandwich and I just put some kettle cooked chips with my sandwich. So the sandwich that I ended up making, it was a tofu um, avocado sandwich. Really good, very high in protein and healthy fats. Like, tofu is a really great meat alternative um, if you are vegetarian or vegan. It's also really good for like your brain health. Um, I know it's good for blood pressure, like lowering your blood pressure and helping reduce your cholesterol levels. And it's really good for your immune system as well as increasing your metabolic rate, which is like the speed um, of the chemical reactions going on in your body. And like that includes how fast your body breaks down food. Now you know, if you didn't know. Um, and then I have a celery lemon juice, juice. When we wake the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep the crickets see the moon side by side and through and through no limit to what we can do oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no Hey guys, so as you just saw, I made dinner, I ate it, it was phenomenal. I love getting that pizza from Walmart, that's where I get it. It's kind of in the healthy food aisle with all like the vegetarian and like fake meat stuff. It's not usually with the rest of the pizzas, but Amy's Pizza, Chef's Kiss, they might sell it somewhere else, but quite frankly, I haven't seen it anywhere else. So if you wanna get that pizza, that's where you can get it. So I ate that, had some lemon tea to go with it. It was the brand Yogi, and now, I'm in bed, I'm in my room. Yes, back with the purple lights. I don't know why, I've been feeling purple, but I just made my last thing for this video and that is my sleepy time tea. This is what she looks like. I actually left my lemon tea bag in there as well so we can get like a second brew out of it. But yeah, so this is the end of the video. This concludes what I eat in a day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was entertaining. I truly hope that you guys can get some food inspiration, that you try these recipes. If you do, please let me know, send me pictures, DM me, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Like I want to know, I want to know who tries these things out or maybe if you already know these recipes and you already do them, let me know. That would be so fun to share. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up, subscribe so you can join the family. I would love to have you guys a part of the amazing, beautiful ride that we are on. And with that being said, the only thing left to say is may the Lord bless you. May he keep you, may he make his beautiful, radiant, vivacious face shine upon you. I love you guys, Jesus loves you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!